we met lockdown happened and the universe sealed the deal for us how much ever we like try to run away from each other that much more strongly i feel like i felt for him was an arranged marriage i guess some arranged marriages also happen for a reason and i guess that's destiny sometimes you just wait all that while to meet the right person at the right time in the right way but the week before we found out that his mom was going to bring him and like our mom had to go with akka and she <laughs> absolutely hated the idea in my head i was thinking aina uh, pulle this is not going to happen so when satter him and his mom walked in and i wasn't at the table cuz i had to pee stress pee though it's embarrassing i'll tell you she went to the loo atma namo sabho sada my mom is running mahalaya so i oh then they come here cuz uh, i have to like go and hide and then come and they come the society gave me strict instructions She said, "Amma, you cannot stay there for more than ten minutes. You introduce yourself and you scoot from there." Is what she told me. Both of them came, did not leave for forty-five minutes. So it was four of us hanging out awkwardly, and I get damn fidgety. So I tore up the entire valley paper under the table. Whenever I come and say, "Where is Srikar? She is in Sahiti's house." Not only five minutes, they won't leave. This, these children also ask, "Where is Anna?" No, I can't. Nobody knows. They will say, <laughs> "Where is he?" <laughs> I remember Srikar walked in with such a sweet smile. I am not exaggerating. He said, "Hi, Auntie." I'll never forget that expression on his face. We went and met, and he smiled nishant. And then it was over for me. I was like, "It's too cute." And I was like, "With this smile, I'll to manage off whatever it is. We, if he smiles, I'll be happy." I is a very independent child as I always told you. Shrikar to me is actually a more like gives in to people I was super independent. It's like if I have to let someone else come into this space, it's a journey. So I think there was like that tiny journey I had to make in my head that it's going to be another person in your life, and you have to fully let them in. I had this wall around me that I built after I lost my dad, and so many things. he does and how he is i've noticed was that's how my dad was she always told me amma i want somebody like nana my dad was that person who believed in like love love who talks about their like wife from 25 years ago the first time he met her, how he felt when he met her. 
the concept of marriage in Hindutva, right, is that in the beginning, we're always thinking about ourselves. With marriage, then you start to widen that scope and you're extending that love to a second person. It's work and it's something that we all consciously have to try. Marriage for me, my husband was my soulmate. He was a great friend. It was a one good holiday for me. You have to be willing to give marriage a chance for the marriage to work. So there are different kinds, eh? Different times. Feeling that you have when you're young, just married, to the feelings that you get when you're in the mid mid ages, to as you're going older. I think it's different. But all through, the thing is that you want to be you want to be with that other person. And then everything else embellishes itself. Love is one way to be happy. It's just this feeling that you have, that you constantly want to be with this person. You're all the time thinking about this person. And, uh, yeah, so when you say, like, what's love to me, it's just, uh, you know, it's just I feel.